In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get insanely detailed photos out of the Rockstar Editor for GTA 5 Online. This is a very simple method that has a huge impact on the detail and clarity of the screen grabs you get while taking photos on GTA. First thing you want to do is compose your photo. I like to personally take the camera all the way back and then zoom all the way in. That flattens out the image and it gives it a much more realistic look than when the camera is zoomed out and it has this kind of strange perspective where things get elongated that are closer to the camera. Next, obviously apply whatever filters you prefer. I generally like to go with gonzo down between 15 and 25 percent depending on the photo then i turn the saturation up just a little tiny bit i don't want to see anybody's skin get orange for example and then i'll play around with high contrast and brightness until i get sort of the sharpness that i want based on the in-game filter i don't do any kind of post editing and other apps or anything like that i just use the rockstar editor when i'm making my picks so you can see that's not a bad looking photo just the way it is right now. But if you look closely at the jacket or the scarf or the t-shirt, you don't see any of the detail in that. It's all kind of this smooth kind of plasticky look to it. You don't see any of the fibers in the scarf or the knitting in the t-shirt. You can't see the grain in the leather. It's all kind of very fake looking. To bring out those details, zoom all the way in and then back all the way out. Go all the way out to where it says add a new clip and then decline that and go back in and re-edit the clip you were just on and boom, all those details are now there. This works on nearly everything in the game. It's not just the clothing, but even the skin on the characters. Like you can see the pores on their skin when you do this technique. Like I said, it's not that it looks bad without doing this technique, but you can see the major impact it has when you apply it. Obviously using bright lighting and the rain effects in the game give the characters a nice look. A little bit more realistic, a little bit of sheen on their skin, but the raindrops themselves can be a pain in the neck. If you look at the upper center right on here in a second, you're going to see a raindrop in there and it just kind of messes up the photo just a little bit. So to remove those raindrops, what you want to do is put a marker all the way toward the end of your clip. Basically get your photo right where you want to take it and then put a little marker down there at the end. And when you put that marker in, take your camera and zoom all the way out. Zoom it as far as it'll go until you hit that red and then hit play. And when you hit play from that waypoint, that's gonna put the rain into that area. And then you just tap back to the previous marker where you had your photo composed. And as you can see, there's no more raindrops in that area. They're completely gone. All the raindrops now are over by that last marker. In GTA, the raindrops don't populate all over the place. They only populate where you're looking. So by shifting that marker to the end and zooming the camera all the way out, it basically puts the raindrops down on the other side of the map so that the area where you're trying to take your photo is free of raindrops. I learned that tip from Mama Snuggles back in the day. Mama was like a GTA photography legend before she retired, taught me a lot about how to get good, clean photos. So thanks for that. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, you like Holly Davidson Moto Vlogs, if you like watching noobs get wrecked on GTA, or you enjoy hearing interviews with some of the best and brightest in the GTA community, please like and subscribe.